Hey, it's time to me to bring another movie review your way. This weekend, the new Brad Pitt movie came out. It's called Killing Them Softly. And I got a chance to catch up and watch this movie. And I have to tell you, it was a complete snooze fest. Oh, Brad, what were you thinking? Why did you sign on to do this movie? I have, it was very predictable. It was very predictable. You knew who was going to die. You knew they were going to die violently. You knew that it was just, uh, mm, it, it, it just wasn't, the execution, I, like they had a good idea. They had a good storyline and it just didn't, it just didn't come off how you would have wanted to see a movie like that come off. Like, I don't know. It wasn't fast enough. The pace of the movie was horrid. Do you hear me? It was not good. There was a scene. Brad Pitt played. Let me let me give you the breakdown of the characters. Brad Pitt plays Jackie, an assassin. You have, and I hope I say his name right, James Galdafini, who plays Mickey. He's also an assassin. You has he and I, I say this lovingly when I call him like the pawn, but you have uh, Scott McNary, which I'm not really familiar with his work, but um, he actually carried his role very well. He was kind of like the pawn, um, the one that just, uh, you know, just kind of went with the flow of everybody else, not really a leader. That was his role in the movie. Uh, he commits the actual uh crime i will say uh in the movie against um other <laughs> people committing crimes and then you have uh ray liotto uh liotto i think that's how you say his name he plays mickey he's one of the people in the movie that actually carries the movie and it kind of unfolds around something that he did to kind of kick off the domino effect of what happens later on in the movie and then you have uh richard jenkins i love richard jenkins i think he's a phenomenal actor along with brad pitt and he plays the driver in the movie he's kind of the um in between uh, negotiator I'll say that because I don't want to give away the movie uh, if you want to go see it but I have to tell you don't don't spend your money um <laughs> catch it on Redbox to be honest with you conversation between the character Jackie played by Brad Pitt and James Galdafini uh, played by M Mickey that's what really brought the movie down for me like Mickey in the movie his life is just in shambles it's like Everything that could go wrong with someone who's already a criminal goes wrong with him, you know? And his his conversation, his delivery is just, why do you keep talking? That's how I felt when he graced the screen. It was like, ugh, he's back. I was so over his character. And when he was eliminated out of the movie, I was happy to see him go. But the, the storyline, the plot, very predictable. There were some interesting points in this movie. It was a political undertone. They actually, it was like a comparison of the United States government, the operation of uh, transactions and the economy and how things flow. It was in uh, like straight, I guess you could say lineup or straight comparison with the criminal economy and how the government right now is on the brink of a fiscal collapse, about to go off the fiscal cliff. And then you have the criminal economy uh, collapsing as well because they're not able to do some of the activities they do to generate a lot of revenue. I found that interesting. I would not, hear me clearly, watch this movie again if I had to, seriously. Only thing that saved an ounce of this film for me was for one, saying Brad Pitt. And then for two, I really like the last line in the movie. Like the very, very last statement before the credits roll. Um, you, you got to see um, how everything comes together and how the director and the writer of this movie, Andrew Dominic and George Higgins, how they made it all kind of mesh together with the economy uh, the American economy, the government, and criminal activity. I mean, that's what it is. America is a business, baby. But I, I like that part, but that was the only part I liked. Other than that, it was a lot of cussing, excessive profanity, like, you know, moments when you don't have to use a cuss word, but you use it anyway, and when you use it, it's just like, did I really have to drop the F-bomb then? So, I was over it. Um, yeah, boo. Don't go see Killing Them Softly. 
um, Brad Pitt, I encourage you to choose another film. <laughs> um, like I said, uh, it's a crime drama thriller. Um, it's directed by Andrew Dominic. Uh, the writer was Andrew Dominic and George Higgins. And I just thought it was just, it was poor. It was just a piss poor <laughs> job done in that movie. And I, I, you know, certain actors, you expect greatness. And don't get me wrong, Brad Pitt and James Galdafani and Richard Jenkins and Ray Liotta. Oh, kudos to Ray Liotta. He really played his part. They delivered, but I, I would say it was the fault of the writer. The writers in this movie, in this script, it just it was just moving too slow. So, mm, yeah, not a not a good movie at all. Don't go watch that. All right, that is uh, my movie review on Killing Them Softly. And uh, if you get a chance to head out to the movies, go see anything but that. <laughs> all right, thank y'all so much.